Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's having a fabulous morning so far. What is it? It is Thursday, March the 21st, 2019. It is a beautiful uh, blue sky out here. Uh, just gorgeous. Uh, so thankful to see the springtime coming. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me on my morning drive. Uh, like I said before, I do a lot of thinking in my truck and a lot of talking to myself, so I might as well record it and share it all with you. Um, I did have uh, a lady that I was chatting with just briefly uh, this morning, and uh, one of uh, one of the posts or something that I had posted uh, was something that really resonated, and she felt that she really needed it, you know, to read that. So, and she reached out and told me thank you, and I was like, wow, you know, like thank you, like that's so cool. Um, I love that it, that I can inspire people because others inspire me and my page name inspired living I want to live an inspired life I want to be able to inspire others uh, through my example and I'm by no means perfect and I can still get out of control sometimes you know have uh, have a few too many rides or you know just get a tangent on something I'm not a perfect person but I definitely I definitely do try to uh, remind myself um, who it is that I want to be and how I want to act not my ego or anything like that but anyway um, yeah I'm not driving like <laughs> all day today so I better hurry up and get on my topic um, so today's topic is the importance of being organized and like some people you know I have I have dear 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 friends who have never been organized they really haven't I mean they have their own sense of of organization chaotic organization um, but what they don't realize is that when things are misplaced and strewn all over and you know they're just what they are is they're blocking energy they're, they're blocking, they're energy blockers, you know, a pile of crap, a junk drawer, a um, bunch of, you know, dirty clothes all over, like whatever it is, stuff that that is just strewn around is an energy blocker and it prevents the good energy uh, from, from flowing through a room or a car or a door drawer or whatever it is. And yes, I mean, energy, and this is not foo-foo stuff, people. This is like proven scientific. There are, um, like, well, look, Feng Shui. So the art of Feng Shui is very ancient. Uh, it's an Asian, an Asian thing that is absolutely fantastic. You know, it talks about the energies of things, and and um, but it's just so important to create as much good energy in your life as you can, and surround yourself with as much as you can. Especially for those of you that are out there um, where life just feels really shitty, like you're just tiptoeing through hoping to make you reach death safely. You know, you're just tiptoeing through life and life isn't going real great for you. You don't think you want more, but if you just have it in your mind, it's never going to happen. Well, that's because your mind's not organized either. You need to get organized. You need to create the good energy. And I promise you, for those who are depressed and sad and, and lonely or angry or have issues inside, because we all do, there's something about taking a messy house or a messy room and cleaning it and organizing it, rearranging it to where that point where you've all been there, I know you've all done this, where you just take a step back and you're tired because you've been working you know, at them for a while, but you take a step back and you're like, you know, like, yeah, you know, you get your living room all organized, your bedroom or something, and you just want to take a moment and revel in it. But that's because you're feeling the good energy that you didn't have there before. And it's so great when you try to keep it tidy, keep it clean, keep it neat, because that good energy seems just like, yeah, it still feels good. And then you have a couple people over, or you have a lazy night, and you don't do the dishes, and maybe playing some board games, and there's crap all over the place, and, you know... And you wake up the next morning and you wake up to that and you're like, oh, that's because the energy doesn't feel as good as it did when you had it all nice and tidy and wonderful. So this isn't rocket science. If you're feeling depressed, go clean something. You have to be able to muster up the, uh, sorry, my video, I'm going over bumps. 
uh, you have to be able to muster up the uh, ability to be able to tidy up and clean. So get get organized, you know. If uh, your phone, this is something I need to do. My photos, I have like 3,000 pictures on a phone that's not even a year old and I didn't think it's insane. I need to organize and delete and you know, I'm a bit of a hoarder that way. So start with your phone, you know, your emails. Emails are, oh man, because I'm always signing up for stuff, I'm always trying to learn. So I try to learn from everyone. I sign up for everything. I do my best to make myself knowledgeable and whatever it is that whether I'm selling something buying something whatever so I sign up for stuff and I get a lot of emails because I sign up for things because I want to remember to go back and look at whatever that was so if I know if I sign up sign up then they'll send me something and I can reference it after so I need to go through and take care of that stuff um, you know things like my purse my purse is a catch-all and my work bag for everything I need to go through and tidy those up. It's like when I cleaned my closet here, oh, I don't know, it was like a month or so ago. What beautiful walk-in closet, and it was a freaking disaster. Took me all day. Man, uh, I'm so happy I took that day and dedicated it to that closet because did it make my life so much better? Not only did I replace the negative energy that was there from the shit laying all over the place and you know, I, I was bitter sometimes because I was looking for something and I was convinced either my kids took it or it was gone or whatever. All my stuff was there. It was just laying on the floor, under piles or in baskets. I'm the queen of throwing shit in baskets just to hide it. And then I got all these baskets and I don't know what's in them. So I really need to go through and do some organizing in those areas. But back to my closet. My closet has helped me because I, I know exactly, I organized all my clothes, I know exactly where everything is, and I know what I have and what I don't have. And it's just so nice in the morning to be able to go in and say, oh, I'll wear this, and oh yeah, well, oh yeah, I didn't have that. Because I know where it is, and I know what I got. So it just makes my life easier, creates better energy, um, it's just overall better. Um, so other areas too, your vehicle. You know, like if you spend a lot of time like me in your vehicle, keep the damn thing tidy and clean. I sell vehicles. So number one, I know that you're going to improve its value. And if I see you at the dealership, you stop in to visit me, and I see that your vehicle, you know, you always look after your vehicle. It's always pretty tidy. You know, when it comes time to trade it in, I'm pretty sure you've looked after that thing uh, because you've always kept it tidy. And it's just good energy. It's good for you. You know, one thing my grandma told me one time, it was quite funny. Um, we were talking about vehicles because I had been in a little fender bender, I was 16. And uh, and in this fender bender, back then it was like these big purses we had. And in the fender bender, my purse was open sitting on the seat. And when I hit the brakes, the purse flew out, it, like flew off the seat. And all the shit flew out all over the place. And my grandmother had told me that it's important to keep your vehicle tidy so in case you're ever in an accident that you know where everything is located and secured and it's easy to go and retrieve so I thought that was you know that was kind of funny it goes along with the wear clean underwear every day thing but um, <laughs> anyway I think you're starting to get the gist of all of this that uh, having organization in your life just makes your life better it really does and I promise you if you are depressed or you are sad, maybe you're mourning the loss of somebody, find something to clean. I promise it's going, it's going to be therapeutic for you. Um, start with, with anything, anything at all, and then just keep working on it. You know, I posted something uh, this morning in my page here on Inspired Living. I went something like, um, what is it? Uh, don't think about what's going to happen in a year or what's going to happen in a month. Focus on the next 24 hours and what you can do. Whoa, guys. I hit a big bump and I fell. Wow. There we go. Anyway, focus on the next 24 hours and do the best at what you can to get, it, get you where you want to go. So focus on that. If you can't do anything, just try to clean something. 
be organized. And uh, I promise you, uh, you're going to feel better. It's going to improve your life and just your overall just well-being. It's just it's just such an easy thing to do to improve our lives. So. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone has a fantastic Thursday, and um, yeah, uh, have a lot of fun today. Be safe, and as always, think good thoughts.